The Holocaust still, I think, stands for most of us as a sort of emblem of, of the lowest point in morality that humanity has reached. And something that called into question so many basic assumptions that we tend to make about how people treat each other. It's very easy to look back and say, why didn't they know? Why didn't they go? But people don't live from the back. They, they, live, they live forward. And no one knew. Nothing like this had happened. Uh, people are engaged in their immediate contingent lives. If you live through war and the Holocaust, you don't exactly uh, have more confidence in people or the world. You get uh, harder and more skeptical and more uh, mistrusting. Uh, I'm sorry to have to say that. I don't really like to talk about this. I, I don't know how I survived. I had dozens of opportunities of being shot or named or hanged. Or... We called ourselves the Jewish Army. And we had five or six different areas of activity. One was elimination of informers. And there were people, and quite a number of them around Nice, whose job was to track down the people who were hidden somewhere in an attic or a basement and uh, sell them to the Gestapo for a set price per head. And uh, when we got wind of one of those people, we uh, sent them warning signs, usually a, a tiny coffin that somebody <laughs> fabricated to tell them that we knew about them. And um, when they didn't stop, we were sent out to uh, make acquaintance with them and uh, flirt with them a little bit and then get them into a place where our comrades already expected them and um, kill them. And the French police never went after us for any one of those deaths, never once. And that is to their great glory. Unfortunately, the Holocaust does not stand alone. There have been many, many, many massacres, if not quite of the same size, of equal brutality and terror. And so this is, sadly, not something that's over, and not something that's likely to be over with soon, and it's not something that's about being Jewish or not Jewish, or Muslim or not Muslim, or coming from a particular country. It's something that has happened all over the world, and so the questions raised by it are enormously important to all of us as, as citizens of the world. I want you to understand is that I do not consider having survived the Holocaust as an achievement. It's just something that happened to me. I didn't deserve it, and I just don't think I deserve a medal quite either. Uh, what might be considered an accomplishment, and I think these girls here, these youngsters, <laughs> is that we all managed somehow with, with, with a lot of struggle to regain our place in society and to join a, a, a treacherous society that dealt with us as if we were just insects or birds.